guys, what's going on? It's Lou, it's uh, Leo here. I almost said Loki OEL, but uh, uh, welcome back to Muay Thai Talk. Uh, today, I just want to quickly congratulate uh, a friend of mine, uh, Onion Topic. He fought uh, the other day against, uh, I forgot his name, it was a Mexican fighter in Mexico for the IFK World Championship. And he brought it back with him. So, congratulations to Ognin there. You know, uh, I've been watching him train a lot recently. And, uh, you know, he's been putting so much work in trying to get that belt. And it really has paid off. I mean, uh, day in, day out, you could see, you know, he had that drive in him. And, um, yeah, I wanted to uh, quickly mention that, you know, I'll probably I have to congratulate him in person when uh, I see him again. Um, you know, uh, I haven't really. Well, you know, another thing uh, that's happened that uh, has been going on was the Warriors Cup recently. Uh, Warriors Cup thirty that was in Queens. Uh, I was gonna go, but I couldn't make it. So uh, on, there's an amateur fighter in our gym, uh, Roman, and. He was supposed to fight, but uh, the other uh, Thursday he is. Uh, I heard, you know, he, he said uh, it got canceled. I'm like, well, that stinks. You know, when your fight gets canceled, you know, you've been putting, you know, this hard work in, you know, every day that your your training goes on for your camp, and to find out that your fight gets canceled, it sucks. It really does. And uh, he's like, well, my guy didn't get his medical papers in, and that is the worst way to not fight. Like, come on. If you're not going to fight, it's uh, the only excuse or reason is because you got injured. But even then, you shouldn't really get injured during your training, especially, you know, towards the end of the training. You know, uh, at our gym, you know, they train hard for like uh, up until maybe like a, a week or two before the fight. And then, they, you know, they calm down because, you know, you're going to get hurt if you keep going hard and... Uh, like that, but uh, what I heard was three fights uh, completely canceled, and that really sucks for those fighters uh, because you know you have been putting in that hard work. And uh, you know I knew of an amateur fighter. His name is John Jones, not John Bones Jones. Um, but this guy was huge. He was he was strong. He was unbelievable. I'm still friends with him now, um, and. Uh, he was undefeated in his amateur record, and the fight I saw him, uh, he won in the first round, literally a minute, uh, knocked the guy out. Uh, a fight that my mother went to of his, I mean, he got teeped in the groin a few times, and after, like, another time, he got really fed up with it, and he, need, he got him into the corner, he kneed him, like, four times, and the guy puked. And, <laughs> so he, he's a... He don't mess around. And uh, after a while, you know, his fights were getting canceled. Like, these guys were just dropping out, like, last minute. And, uh, you know, you hate to see that the fighters, because then he, he got really down, and he just didn't, he just doesn't fight anymore. Uh, I wish he did. You know, he's really talented. But uh, I think he still boxes, you know, trains. Um, but, yeah, it stinks like that, because, you know, um... It's like that team that doesn't show up in, you know, like a pickup match or if you're if you're like a baseball player, I guess, a softball, like pickup softball, you know, if the team doesn't show up, you're like, what the heck? You know, a uh, similar thing happened to me back in my eighth grade year of basketball where uh, it was the semifinals and the other team didn't show up for the game and we automatically went to the finals. And, you know, that kind of sucks because, you know, we've been practicing for this team and then you know, we might have gone, which we were happy about, but we weren't happy about how we went. And um, I was working with, uh, I, I partnered up with a guy yesterday, his name is Manny. Uh, he's about my height, but he's like really, he, he's a big guy and he doesn't mess around. And, and uh, uh, you know, he's had to have soldier surgery, so it kind of stinks. It's kind of limit, limits his training a little bit. Um, but uh, I forgot... It, uh, who was it? Because uh, there was a tournament in uh, New York. Was it the... Uh, what do you... Oh, 
I can't remember the name. Oh, no, it was the Nationals. That was it. It was National Championships. Um, you know, first of all, they were very unorganized. I didn't get to go. I wish I could have. I was like, Mom, take me out of school. Let's go. But that didn't happen. My mom went up, um, and he got into the ring. And as soon as he got into the ring, the ref raised his hand because the other guy dropped out. And my mom, because, you know, since they weren't that organized, my mom saw him, in, like, backstage and stuff. Uh, a friend of mine, Mike, uh, also a friend of my mother's, he got to corner, actually. Um, and my mom was like, he was punching lockers. He was so mad. And I was like, you know, Manny, he's got to be really pissed about this. Because he was. And you hate to see that because, like, you work so hard and then you don't even get to fight. You know, it, it really does. It does suck. So that's kind of what I wanted to cover today. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll be checking for some uh, lion fight events coming up. Um, a few quick things that I'm going to be uploading soon. My last FIFA Ultimate 15 episode, my last Quest of 190 episode, and I th I'm thinking about doing a new gaming thing. Uh, it's called Space Marshals, it's an app. It's pretty fun. Uh, maybe I'll make a, a series about it, or maybe I'll just do gameplay and forget the series part. Um, FIFA mobile video. Maybe coming soon. Uh, I'm not sure. Like these, I've been recording, and some of them, they just haven't turned out like interesting or good. So that's why I'm not gonna upload those ones. Um, uh, gonna upload a new episode of Loki OEL FC Football Talk. Uh, with Lewis Ortiz, uh, hopefully gonna record with Aiden Nolte uh, this coming week. Um, uh, other than that, that's kind of it. If it gets warmer out, I guess I'll do another video at Fully Field. Um, and I'm getting ready to coach uh, an in-town team or a recreation team. Uh, my brother. He's going to be on it. Uh, hopefully I get two former players that I coached in the fall because I enjoyed with those kids. Uh, I really do enjoy that coaching. Um, and, you know, obviously it's been a, i got to get back into more of my training. Yeah. I mean, I haven't gotten to go that much this month. But, uh, you know, yeah, I'll be back in it. It's just been weird. And then I'm Audi for uh, Virginia in March. Uh, maybe I'll do, like, a vlog thing for March, so, when I'm, when I'm there. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, and check out, make sure you check out my other videos. Check out my recent Muay Thai talk. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it, so, uh, peace. And, um, I might do some individual, uh, football talks. Uh, on days that I can't record with uh, Louis Ortiz. So, you know, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, peace again. Yeah, bye.